Hello everyone. Welcome to Rat Trapping Tips. So it's the uh, 4th of November today and uh, pretty steady rain here on Canada's west coast in our island community and I've been out checking a few rat traps, not too many. And uh, went and interviewed a new potential new employee to come and help me with my rat trapping and poisoning. And uh, we're going to go out and do a bit of work together tomorrow. Meantime, I've been buying, I bought a few more uh, Victor traps this morning at the hardware store. I just love these traps. Where would I be without Victor traps? You can keep them going indefinitely. They're strong enough, powerful enough to kill three rats at once. Uh, no other rat traps are like that. And uh, yeah, I tweak them up so they can definitely kill three at once, maybe four. And I love tinkering with them and keeping them going, tuning them. So I probably, over the last few years, probably averaged buying about 200 of these a year. Something like that. I use a lot because every new customer I get I usually end up leaving between four and 15 traps there permanently and uh, yeah anyways let's go and see what I, what I got this morning I went under a trailer looked under a trailer where I keep a couple of traps for a woman who lives in the trailer and uh, she had a rat problem there last year and so we set up a regular couple of traps that I keep under the trailer. I've put traps all around her property, but they, um, they don't seem to catch rats. The only ones that catch rats are the traps under her trailer. And I guess the rats are trying to get into a trailer because that's where the warmth is. It's where the heat is and food. And uh, that's where I keep catching them, under her trailer. Got a nice big one this morning, right there. So, big brown in the trap under her trailer this morning. And then down the road, another woman phoned me last night, emailed me last night, said, come and check my traps. And uh, I've been regularly trapping at her place sporadically over the last five years. And sure enough, one of her traps had caught a rat about six weeks ago by the look of that and all of her traps needed rebaiting the peanut butter was gone the bugs the slugs the beetles the snails they all get in and eat the peanut butter they clean it off pretty quickly so whether you're catching rats or not uh, you've got to rebait your traps so that they're always ready for the next rat that comes along and uh, other critters, mice. Mice are experts at cleaning off rat traps, cleaning the bait off and not getting caught. Sometimes they get caught. Just depends on how sensitive your trap me mechanism has been set. If you've set it at uh, sensitive, then you'll catch mice, more mice. But even then, even if it's sensitive, uh, sometimes you don't catch the mice and they clean the bait right off. And you wonder what's, what's going on. Anyways, so it's it's pouring. I don't like working in this weather. Going under buildings, it's it's dangerous. It's more dangerous than normal. Climbing up ladders and things when everything's wet and greasy. Uh, things are slippery and a lot more dangerous than when they're nice and dry and you can get some grip on them, especially if you're going across roofs and things like this in this weather. So. I tend not to do so much work in the wet weather. I come home and I find stuff to do here. I've got wood to split there. I've got to put my snow tires on my car today because uh, we're forecast for snow here. Possible snow over the next few days. And uh, so I've got to get the snow tires on so I don't get caught without snow tires. Split some wood. Feed that one to the ravens. I'll actually give that one to the ravens too. These two rats have both come from properties where I don't use poison. 
and therefore I know that the rats are safe to feed to my ravens. I'm not going to feed the ravens rats that could have been poisoned. So anything that possibly could be poisoned, it goes into the garbage. The ravens don't get it. Okay, so yeah, I'm always sorting out my car. Uh, I've got a trap here, that's right. And that trap's got to be the bait pad, cloth pad is gone from the bait plate, so I've got to replace the bait pad. That's a regular thing that I have to do with my traps. And uh, snow tires. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what to do with all these odd little lumps of poison, rat poison here. How do I use them safely? Um, I think I've got a scheme. I'll put them inside a cavity in a building foundation and uh, put them inside a bag or something where the rats can get them but can't carry them around very easily so they'll eat them on the spot and uh, keep it nice and safe for everybody. Okay, so... I think that's everything for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. And thank you very much for subscribing. There's going to be a lot more videos coming. It's uh, autumn and this is October, November. October, November, December, the three months when rat activity peaks here. Sometimes it peaks in October, sometimes November, usually November, but once it peaked in December. And uh, but those are the three months. You've got to be on the ball if you're a rat trapper. Because they are all scrambling. The rats are all scrambling to get into a building before, before winter progresses very far. Otherwise, if they're stuck outside, they won't make it through the winter, that's for sure. Right.